In this video, we're going to show you how to enable Linux, install Steam, and then install whatever supported game you'd like. So first, there's just a few prerequisites. Um, in order to get this to work, we will need a Chromebook with a Intel processor in it. This is going to be important because certain Chromebooks won't be up to the task. So if you have a relatively new Chromebook, you should be able to get this enabled. A lot of this video is going to be using a lot of terminal. Uh, and if you're not familiar with terminal, that's okay. We'll try to make it as easy as possible. And all of the commands we'll be typing in, we'll have that in the description below. So you can always just copy paste from there. The first step, we need to enable Linux. So first we need to make sure that our Chrome OS is on version uh, 76 and above. And then we see here it says Linux beta. Depending on the time you view this, it might just say Linux. Uh, so you go to enable it and you click through, let the installer do its thing. And once finished, we'll have a Linux app folder in the app drawer. And most importantly, we'll have a terminal. But now we need to check if we have the GPU support enabled which will be super important when it comes to playing a game from Steam. Because without this, you might get like a frame a second and you'll be lucky to even get anything to launch up. So, so this, is, this is a crucial step here. So we're gonna open up a terminal and we're gonna type in GLX info space dash capital B and then hit enter to initiate the command. Now, a few entries down, it should either read yes or no under acceleration. If it says yes, great, you're done. You don't need to do anything else. If it says no, then we have another step we have to complete. If it says no, open up a Chrome window and enter Chrome colon slash slash flags, and then search for Crostini GPU. And here you should see Crostini GPU support, and then enable this flag. And it'll prompt you to restart. And when you do, open up the terminal again and type in GLX info space dash capital B. And then if successful, it should read yes under acceleration. Okay, we've enabled Linux, we've enabled GPU support. Now we need to install Steam. So again, let's go back to the terminal. And we need to add a repository. Just quickly, a repository is, is a place where you can point to, to to grab packages from, to grab apps, software. We need to type in the following. And then next, we need to add the CPU architecture. So we'll type in the following. Okay, now that we've done that, we need to update our repositories. So we'll type in the following. Now that we did that, we're ready to install Steam. So type in the following command, then press Y to confirm, agree to the Steam license in the terminal window, After Steam updates and does its thing, Steam should launch. If it doesn't, either type Steam in the terminal window or open it in the Linux apps folder in the app drawer. Once everything is updated, installed, all that, uh, you're ready to log into Steam with your credentials. For this video, I'm gonna install Rocket League. Uh, I've had a chance to uh, try this, play it, and, and confirm that it does in fact work on a Chromebook. So first we're gonna search for the game. We're gonna purchase it if you haven't already. Then we're gonna download the game and wait for it to install. So now that we have it installed, let's launch the game. So if you're lucky, you'll be able to get to the settings page and then you can tweak your settings from there. I myself had a little trouble getting to that point. 
So I actually had to go and find the config file for Rocket League and edit that file itself. It sounds harder than it is. Depending on the game you've downloaded, uh, your settings file might be in a slightly different location, but we'll use Rocket League as an example. Uh, the overall idea should be the same from game to game, while the location of the config file, the actual config file settings will probably be different from game to game. So for Rocket League anyway, this is how it works. So we open up a terminal window and we navigate to the following. Just to break down what these commands are right now, uh, CD is change directory and this is kind of like in a hidden folder and our folder Rocket League has a space in it and the way terminal works, you have to do a backslash um, and then the space, otherwise it's gonna get confused and think you're trying to like put in a new command. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna put in the following. If you type in LS and then enter, it will reveal the contents of the folder. LS stands for list. So we wanna list the contents of the folder. And you'll see there's a file named linux ta system settings.ini. So now we need to open up this INI file with a word processor. And I myself prefer nano. And I've installed that beforehand using the following command. So with that installed, I'm ready to open up the INI file with this command. Some of these entries will need to be changed from true to false. This will turn off the effects that affect GPU performance. I also changed the resolution X to 1280 and the Y to 720. After these tweaks have been made, save and exit. Launch Rocket League from Steam and play the game. So just a few things to keep in mind. When I first attempted this, every game I tried would crash, crash, crash. And that's when I realized that the secret sauce to all this was enabling the GPU support, which depending on the system, I've had it, it already enabled and I've also had it not enabled. So that's where the GLX info dash B really, really comes into play. And then the other issue I ran into was in first person games, while they run, they seem to be hampered by a bug that doesn't properly work with a full 360 degree mouse movement, meaning you can't freely rotate around in any direction you kind of you kind of stop at a certain point and it just it doesn't move anymore and if you want to spin the other way you have to reverse direction and this kind of kills the first person shooter gaming experience but games like uh, dota 2 would be a great candidate for this chromebook steam gaming as well as uh, rocket league games like portal 2 team fortress 2 and and cs go would be good candidates for Chromebook Steam Gaming if this bug ever gets resolved. All right, that's it. We've enabled Linux, we've enabled GPU support, we've installed Steam, and we've installed Rocket League, and then we've gone through and tweaked the config settings. All right, that's about it. If you have any questions or if you have any other good recommendations for games that play well on a Chromebook, feel free to uh, post in the comments below. Thanks for watching.